world under the surface. Purdy said, that meant so much to me. I remember him saying, if we could get Tom Brady, we're going to go try to get him. And I was like, yeah, he's the GOAT. I get it. But something deep down inside of me was sort of like, dude, I just showed you that I could play well in the system. And we were one game away from the Super Bowl. More than anything, I was like, okay, now let's go. It's that competitive spirit shed ahead, and the Niners have quickly grown to love. Yes, they say Purdy is humble and down to earth, but he carries an edge on the field that manifests in many ways. Now, just think about that. Shedhead said, hey, I know you're coming back from a tour at UCL. You just let us one game away from the Super Bowl. You lit it up. We feel really good about you. You show so much bravado, so much heart. But if Tom Brady wants to play for us, we're going to go that route, kid. And that was this past offseason, which we heard no murmurs about. We heard nothing about that, Chasky. Hey, Bonte, you're going to be my co-host. <laughs> but if Radnich is available, <laughs> you know he is the go. <laughs> you might have to step aside. I understand, Chasky. I mean, I can't get over this. First off, you went back to the Tom Brady well when you should have went to the well Day one, which they didn't, okay, which I wanted them to in the 2020 offseason during COVID and everything. Fine, whatever. Okay, you didn't, you didn't go with him. And then you were going to go back to him when he looked even more washed and he was even more older. And the key was if he was going to give us a hometown discount. Right. What? At what point in his career lately has Tom taken a hometown discount? I know at New England at one point he did. That man is about his money. You see that deal he was going to sign with Fox? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I, I, I just... Can you believe that they were going to go down to Brady well again? Okay, so... How, got, how do Niner fans feel about, like, that came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And it's like a throw-in. Right. It's a throw-in in the middle of the article, like, oh, by the way, Shanahan <laughs> said, they're going to try to go get Brady. Which tells me a couple things have popped into my head about Shanahan. <laughs> I can't believe that. Shanahan again. When Shannon Sharp said our first take early this season, patience and the Shanahan's don't go together. That I agree with now. So now... It is what it is, and I'm I'm keeping it positive. I think Brock Purdy's going to play well this Saturday. I really do. But boy, Shanahan's always creeping to see who's next. He's always trying to upgrade, whether it's tight end, wide receiver, middle linebacker, or quarterback. Now, but what about the, the whole fact of, like, hey, the arm's up in the air. I don't know if he's even going to be healthy. Like, what's going it, it tells me, though, regarding Sam Darnold, Trey Lance, both of those guys were, like, not in the equation. Right. If he's going, it's Purdy or Brady. Right. To me, like oh, those, that whole narrative of all the talk that we right. had, you know, leading up about Darnold and, and Trey or whatever, however yeah. you broke that down, they were never in the cards. No, they were done. He was done with Trey. Absolutely. He was done with Trey the minute Purdy lit it up against Seattle, and then they got into the pause. He was done with Trey. No doubt. We were fooled, but he was done with Trey. No doubt. And so th there's that whole element, and there's like the whole, you're my guy, unless, you know, something else. But that's also the nature of the NFL. Wouldn't well, you agree? It is. But the fact that he was like, yeah, I'm going to go look for Tom Brady, after Purdy's sample size during that stretch was a lot better than Jimmy Garoppolo's sample size. And in fact, and look, and I was yelling this from – from the day they lost the Super Bowl, I was tired. I didn't care whether it was Brady, Stafford, Goff, you know, Sean Watts. I, I, all I wanted was for Shanahan to get his guy. Yeah. Go get your guy. Well. And he didn't go get his guy, which is what made me frustrated, frustrated about the whole Jimmy Garoppolo era because it was obvious that wasn't his guy. Yeah, he rolled with him for another two years. So it was like, Shanahan, what are you doing? Well, and now that it seems like he got his guy, oh, let me go call Brady. Brady, you sure you're retiring? What? I, well, I mean, it's a unique situation. You know, it's a unique situation. And he's a unique player who was available. I I, I think it's one of those outliers, right? Like, right. I'm not going to lose my mind over Shanahan thinking about bringing in the greatest quarterback of all time to, you know, because the guy might be out for one whole year and because this is a win-now team. Look, right. I will be the first person to say it to the high heavens. I never thought Brock Purdy would have a season like he had right. this year. I just I never right. I never saw it in the car. You told me a, a year ago, mm -hmm. a year and a half ago, even after the great run that he had, you know, if you'd asked me the minute after they beat the Dallas Cowboys, Purdy is going to break almost every single 49er passing record right. next year. I'd have been like, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. I'm just being real. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm. I've watched a lot of 49er quarterbacks have nice little runs. Now, Purdy, his little run at the end of last year was better than all of them. Right. But I, I was cautioning myself from falling victim right. of prisoner of the moment. Right. Who could have foreseen this? Right. Nobody. Who, who could have? Nobody. And I am a sucker for Tom Brady. Have I not been beat? No. I mean, I think we all How are. How could you not I be? I think we all are. 
I, I told you, me growing up with the Pats, I remember you said, you know, when they beat the Seahawks, that was when he won you over. I was just sitting there thinking, I for the entire 2000s, you guys, ask Big Dogs, you ask anybody around me, I would not gamble against the Patriots. It was Pats or Pass I for me that. because Pats of Brady. It was. And he, the guy won me over the minute John Madden said, you know, if I'm the Patriots when they won that first Super Bowl against the Rams, and John Madden goes, you know, if I'm the Patriots, I just play for overtime. And Belichick went for it. And the kid didn't wilt. And the kid led him to a game-winning field goal. And I was like, wow, this guy, damn, that's ballsy. And then two years later, quietly, lights up the Carolina Panthers as he's, as he's in the duel with Jake Del Holm. But Brady lit it up. And you can't name a wide receiver on a team outside of Deion Branch. I'm like, all right, Brady's Brady's that guy. So I get it. I'm 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 all for Brady. But I, but during, after the Super Bowl, I said, you know what? Jimmy earned that equity, and it didn't look good in New England at, last mm-hmm. year with Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. But obviously, he didn't have the weapons, and obviously, he proved us all wrong because he won a Super Bowl. Belichick with Bay. was wrong, right? And Belichick's one of the greatest the, the coaches of all time. He he was in the building with Tom, and yep. he was like, yeah, I'm moving on. Right. 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 Absolutely. So, I, look, on some level, I can't fault the Niners or you or anyone who thought that Brady was done at that time. Right. I wanted him just because I wanted to see Brady come here, and I've always been a Brady fan. But And it was probably more emotional-based than it was film study-based. I just wonder, how would that have sit with Niner fans if Brady actually did sign here and we didn't get to see Brock Purdy eclipse Jeff Garcia and Steve Young for the most passing yards of a season in 49ers franchise history? We would have been robbed of that. I'm almost, call me crazy, I'm actually glad it didn't happen. Monte, I knew that the Purdy effect was completely off the charts. Maybe two months ago, I went to Target, and I saw just a, a, a 10-year-old girl walking around Target in a Purdy jersey. Then I hit the corner, go to get my water, right. and I seen a four-year-old dude in a Purdy jersey. Yeah. And I said to myself, all right. This fan base loves Brock Purdy. Yeah, well, the, the 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 Dan Orlovskis of the world, and I'm just using him as an example. The national pundits might want to say what he isn't, but what he is is one of the most beloved athletes right now in Bay Area yeah. sports. Ann and I have been together over seven and a half years. She doesn't go crazy over athletes. She doesn't go crazy. I don't know why that needed to drop. I, I can't believe she lasted seven years with me. Uh, but Purdy. Does she go like, some, crazy over my opinions, maybe? Nah. Some she, of my jokes? She don't even, uh, I don't know. I don't know. She sometimes don't even listen. How she, I prop you up? You know, sometimes she don't even watch the pre- and post-game show. She don't even She's like, ah, you, what it's a just hater. work. It's just work. She's like, it's just work. We're doing our own my thing. My wife Which doesn't a, listen to anything. Yeah, exactly. Which is fine. But the way she went crazy for Purdy. Early on, she goes, babe, I think we got our Tom Brady. I said, you're out of your I mind. I can't believe she said that. I said, you're out of your And I, I tell you the story. When my mom was like, we got a quarterback. You talk about the Purdy effect. And then the lady at Big Mouth Burger sipping the lemonade saying, yeah, quarterback's pretty good. I'm like, what is going on here? All right, I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe anymore. But here we are a year and a half later, and I feel pretty damn good about Purdy being the quarterback of the 49ers. But it's just wild that Nick Wagner just threw this in there that – Shanahan sat down with Purdy and assured him that if he was healthy, he would be the starter unless Tom Brady wanted to play one more season. <laughs> me and Bonte will be a successful duo unless Radnich comes out of retirement and wants to work with me. Oh, man. Let's By the way, I love how I'm replacing you yeah, in this particular exactly. hypothetical. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I just get kicked to the curve.